Welcome, <clears throat> welcome everyone to the 181st Knowledge Seekers Workshop. This is the part two afternoon session for Thursday, July 20th, 2017. And I believe Mr. Kesh. Yes, okay. good afternoon. Good, evening, good, good morning, good afternoon, good day, wherever, wherever you are. As usual, as you listen to these teachings and as we learn more and more about how we work and how the things work around us. I've learned a lot in the past few days, in so many ways. Uh, we have come to learn more in how we have to operate in learn how we have to understand the operation of our own work and this condition of trying to bring peace is very important in the past whenever we done contacts with governments ambassadors it's been totally on a what you call cash foundation a group of very few people contacting embassies, contacting governments, and this time is the whole of Keshe Foundation. With what I've seen has been done, it's a beautiful job. I've seen how many hours has been spent to get this letter correct to the word, how to get both letters correct, how the Chinese are working to get their letters correctly, that we unify and we don't split, we bring love and care, according to the knowledge with peace. It's fundamental for a lot of us to understand that peace does not come easy. I've never known peace coming easy. To establish peace for a race which has been fighting for millions of years, is a dream, but on the other hand is a bitter dream to appeal to swallow as we said in English. Because we, we have fought for so long that we don't have no concept of peace. We have no understanding of peace. Peace to us is a dream, is like a paradise. Talking to diplomats, I have raised a very big question. As you know, past few days I've been busy but at the same time, I left it to you as totally as a Keshe Foundation in the teachings of whatever groups was organized to write this letter to be able to go. The time from now is only 12, 14 days. To what extent we can push this through, all depends how much from today you work to get this letter out. How many people put their time an effort, hundreds of thousands of calls to the embassies, to the palaces, is your job. We know maximum maybe 60 to 80 of the world leaders can be reached by most of you, their offices, the embassies. But, you know when we go on the racing line, and the gun goes off and says the game starts, the run, the marathon or whatever, this is a marathon for life for the Keshe Foundation. I'm trying to bring the Iranian government to move to Israel, which is one of the hardest things to do. But my soul is with it. My, my heart is with it. I was in the embassy this morning and I don't need to push I make it very glorified thing to have peace. You got to understand, when you speak with the diplomats, when you speak with the world um, leaders, they all want to have this, what I call the crown of glory, that they've done something. But in the process of excitement, and process of getting it done, the reality comes home, that, what about the soldiers? What about the, our manufacturing companies, what about army, what are we going to do with this lot? The solution has to be one thing, we have never tried. 
it's an unknown, but it's worth taking a risk with. But in fact, there is no risk if you think of it. The only big losers in this game are five nations, no more. Five nations are making huge amount of money out of guns. Large number of people involved with it. Because it makes sense. You got to remember something very interesting. Many of you know, many of you might not know. Many nations, many nations still today are paying for the bullet which was shot in Second World War to the Americans. Those chewing gum you saw the American soldiers chewed in the bunkers in Second World War, some European nations are still paying for it. Because Americans sold soldiers, they didn't send soldiers. The Americans sold shoelaces. Nothing came out of America without getting paid for. And the debt signed underneath for. I'll give you an example. Go back into 1990s, 1980s, British government. Go into the archives. Mrs. Thatcher came into the power on one basis. Denationalizing. Denationalization was to sell all the assets which the nation built over years back to the nation as shares. So the people paid twice for the same thing. When you pay taxes for electricity, when you pay taxes to lay cables down, when you pay taxes to put telephone lines down over 20, 30, 40 years, Mrs. Thatcher came up with a very beautiful solution. This time I privatize it, and the people pay for it the second time. And people were eager to pay the second time, because she said, what do you be worth 100 million, we sell it for you for 50 million, you can double your money. And everybody went for the greed of the doubling the money, but then when it stood still, we already paid for this, why should we pay second time for it? But, she took one thing out of it. The money which came from the sale of all these shares, which were sold to the people for a second time, she paid all the debts of British government to the American government from Second World War. War finished in mid-1940s. Mid-1980s, England sold all their assets back again to themselves to pay the debts of the Second World War. And they were still paying for it for 40 years. Go and check the history. Nations on the burden of guns go bankrupt. Nations on the burden of armies go bankrupt. This is the way to show we create peace. This is the way we, with peace, we bring new dimension, new life. We've seen it, what happened in Europe. We don't see many hungry soldiers from the coming down of the Berlin Wall. The beauty of it is, we can always find something to do. We can always subsidize the soldiers to do something else than shooting a gun. I have put a proposal, and my proposal goes very straightforward. To the Iranian government, is very simple. We haven't fought for 300 years. We are not going to fight now. We are a peaceful nation, we take the step. The problem is, getting them to Haifa. But the problem is, getting them to sign it, is bigger problem, let alone getting them to Haifa. Negotiation for these things takes years. If it's done the right way, if the heart and the soul of the Keshe Foundation members and the people who support peace is in it, we can do it in two weeks. 
It's a very big shot. Tomorrow morning I'm going to Vatican. I'm going there personally to ask if Pope will attend the peace movement. This morning I spent time in the embassies. Tomorrow morning I'm back in the embassies. Tomorrow I go to Vatican. The only thing they can tell me, the Father will think about it. But I put it back on the net, we've been, what's the response is. To me, peace worth fighting for. Peace is something we have the knowledge with it, that we can do it. We have the power to do it, because we brought a new knowledge. Something very strange happened on Monday night, where the core team, the Universal Council team, and the members of the Earth Council, nearly half of the members are present. I always promise you, when the man makes a move, we shall move. I gave you one promise, that when the man decides to move for peace, the Universal Community will show the signs of peace, to support. The meeting was held at the same time, with I think 18, 20 members of the total councils together on the table. Around the world, we were all discussing word, what word to be put, reorganize the sentence, the letter you see. And something strange happened. Caroline whispered in my ear, come and have a look outside. I went out. And as it was happening live, we, we, discussed, we were talking, it was live, the other members of the Council, who were online, were listening. And at the same time, another person, who was nearby, sent a message to us, that they are seeing the same thing in the sky. 50, 100 meters away from us, at the same time. And there was a number of UFOs, a number of large bright lights on top of us, where we were discussing the world peace. We took pictures, we sent them to the members to see. It was an amazing sight, very large number, as one system. I promised, when the man makes a move for peace, the universal community will come in for peace. And now we have kept to our word. We cannot be wrong. It's not coincidental, the time when all the three councils meet for peace, the promise which you gave, was kept to. Huge, lights in the sky, regular formation, exactly the way we see in process. We kept to our word, and we keep to our word. The Universal Community has opened his arms, it's for man to make the next step. When the Earth Council, the Universal Council and the Core Council were meeting, some places two, three o'clock in the morning, some places six, seven, eight o'clock in the afternoon, some places early hours of morning. This appears for the second time. I showed you the video of the first time, year, two years ago. I spoke about the formation on Thursday and on Sunday, was videoed in South of Italy. And that day, when we decided, and we were writing the word, the letter of peace, these lights appeared, over the house. For a long time. Half an hour. 
the formation of the light, we could not take pictures, it was amazing, the video would not work. We tried videoing, it was impossible. We tried to take pictures. Some pictures I've taken, I've taken on my mobile and Caroline's taken some and the others. And, in so many ways, we have made a move. It means, the man is on the right track. It means we receive support from a stronger fields, a stronger dimension than us, that make sure that we succeed. That night, when we finished, I felt one thing, I said, I have achieved peace. I have managed to convince man to walk the path of peace, and the men of the universe who see the soul of the man, have agreed with it. We are on the right track. When I sat exactly, nearly one and a half years ago, in front of the American officials, handing a key for exchange for peace in Iran, in my heart, I knew it's correct. And, the long term, it turned up to be correct. When we announce this peace movement, and we agree with peace, I know we are right, because we brought the right technology. We have brought the right people, we have brought the right eaters, and the right always wins. The problem is not anymore how and who, the beauty is, many are involved. The letter is on the screen. Explains a lot. You've seen it for past two or three days. As I said, when the shot goes off, the race starts. The shot has gone off today. Please take this paper, they're going to split it into your Excellencies and your Majesties, so there are two different PDF files. You can download it, sign the name of the President, or the King, or whatever, in front of it, and scan it back, and send it across the world. And we open the channel, these people have received we try to put a click, how many people have sent to which. Send and cover the whole totality. Any embassy, any nation, bombard the embassies of Israel. Send as many as you can, to the Israeli ambassadors, to Israeli governments, to every path. The same with Australian. Because, the funniest thing is, can we have this letter of Prime Minister of Australia, please? If we can have it on the screen. He says, he has other engagements. There are two points. Is there any more engagement more important than peace? And secondly, if it is important, his Honourable, or His Majesty, or His Excellency, can appoint another person to sign the peace. Put this paper across the Internet. We start working on it. Every day, we carry on. If you have done anywhere, anything, just send us who you send it to, how you send it to. Ministers, Cabinet Ministers, Ministries, in every shape or form, inform, send to, give to them, that, please pass this on to your President, to the Parliament. We need to get this done. My biggest wish, and my sincere wish, I can get Ayatollah Rouhani, to walk the steps. 
this changes everything in the history of man. This changes everything which is planned. How can an enemy walk on the land of peace? It's significant. It needs a lot of trust, a lot of cajoling, a lot of understanding. Fulfill. Send as many as you can to the Iranian embassies and invite the Ayatollah Rouhani to walk the path of peace. Because if the Iranian president walks, all the armies around the world are collapsed. Because the fact is, the Prime Minister of Israel cannot stop Iranian president walking the path of peace onto the mountain. The beauty of it is, if we can get the King of Saudi Arabia to walk the same path at the same time, my life is at high risk in what I've taken, I know. But it's worth it. Today when I walked out of the embassy, for one second I thought, what if they do? And my other heart said, it's done. Due to the position I have, and the work I've done, in the background, there is a lot of trust in what I do in the Iranian government, for what the things I've done. But, getting a president, walking in the arm of the enemy, with a bouquet of rows of peace, takes a lot of courage. It collapses the whole armies around the world. And this should be our target. Encouraging the Iranian President to walk into the Mount Carmel, through Haifa, not through Tel Aviv. Please, bombard the Iranian embassies, Iranian governments, Iranian media. We are inviting Ayatollah Rouhani to come to Haifa. This is the biggest arm deal at the moment going. Name of Iran, they made a big, what I call, ghost out of, to sell arm to the others. When there is no ghost, there is no arms. It's easier if you fight to fight with wisdom, than actually with a fist and a gun. It took me less than two minutes. I brought the 30 year of war between Iran and Americans to a halt. The key points are the Vatican, the President of Iran, the Prime Minister of Israel, and Chinese leadership, headed by President Xi. If we move these four figures, we move the whole world. Because the two enemies have to stand face to face. And when they stand face to face, signing for peace, they become both peaceful. Our work, our target from this second, while you are talking to, while you are listening to this, just go, find Iranian embassies, take it down, put His Excellency, President Rouhani, you are invited. This gives me a lot of strength on the other hand, hundreds of thousands of all the Iranian embassies around the world, all the Jewish embassies around the world, all the Chinese embassies around the world, in white to peace. We need these four targets to move, and the rest will move with it. I thank the whole team in the background, a lot of work has been done. I listened in the background, I've been watching. 
Caroline stays up with it day and night to see through. We both have put our life on this. Those of you who are close to us understand. For us means a lot because because of these abuses we know how much peace is important. Mr. Dirk Lorenzen, I'm Mr. Sylvester. Now use your pens and your computer time to send this out if you are a true man of peace and see how much you can do. I make you to walk the path of peace. All the time you spend in attacking, now spend that time to bring peace, if you are the true man of peace. All those who cajole with names and numbers, it's a straightforward. Peace worth fighting for. Target the French, the British, every language you speak, spend your time bombarding, make telephone calls, we want to send this, we want an answer. I'm putting my time into it, I want to know an answer from the President, I want an answer from the King, I want an answer from the Palace. Your bombardment started today. Now is, whatever time you call it, you are in, the game starts. Don't forget, today is 181. That's one, is the beginning. It's a very, very strange time. It's a very, very strange, peaceful time. And the only people who can get us. I have traveled all over to bring people together. I will do anything it needs to be done to get this work done. It needs to be completed. And when you send it, you go and ask, what's the response? Every day. If an embassy receives 200 calls a day, they have to do something about it. Send it to the government office, the office of the President. Ask, we like this to be signed and to be kept too. As part of the work, I'll be traveling again in the next few days, to make sure certain other positions are in line. I travel on the disguise of the business of the Keshe Foundation, but there are a lot to be done in the back. As I said, when the lights was in the sky, it was very strange. We were joyful, and to me, I stood and I said, I understand, the message is clear. It's exactly the shape of the lights of universal systems, but it's got to be seen, and with it, we can step, move forward, to do it. Don't forget, if you do not know by history, Iranians, military air force, are one of the very few who have had close encounter with UFOs. Goes back decades. 
And you have to understand, there is a lot of observation of these things, in around Esfahan and Shiraz in past five years, where Iran has been testing. Japanese tourists taking pictures of them over cities, and a lot of people are getting used to seeing them frequently. The process which I have taught in past week to weeks, brings something very special into light. As I explained, the control of the spaceships are not so easy, as there is no electronics. But, there is one thing which can match it, or be near enough it, that it can be at the speed of control of the man, is this right, or in line, with the speed of the soul of the man. As man becomes more mature, the dimension and the speed increases. As man more becomes more peaceful, it allows higher strengths to be used. So, the progress of the man in the space, will depend on the peacefulness of man depends on the trust of himself in his soul, and what he gains from space. As he gains more and more knowledge, he finds new ways to overcome different situations and different strength of field in the universe. And this process will give man strength. It is very much, if I can explain it, a couple of hundred years ago, you wanted to go from one side of the mountain to the other, you had to climb all the way up, and then drop down on the other side. The mountain was an obstacle. As the knowledge of the man increased, we built roads on it, to make it smoother. And as our knowledge increased further, we drilled a hole in it, and we called it a tunnel. The huge mountain does not exist for us, as we want to cross it. In time, as the man knowledge increases with what we have dispersed as knowledge, it becomes like these tunnels. It becomes irrelevant on the strength of the fields which create a condition. As the man is full of thought and the strength increases to make tunnels through these obstacles of fields. If the man understands the true meaning of the teaching of past few months, man will cross the universe in no time, and nothing shall be an obstacle. But with one proviso, and that is, you don't destroy it to get to the other, you accommodate to get to the other side. Destruction has been the habit of the past, and we have to get with it done. So, you'll find out, as you find more and more ways to live and accommodate, then you learn more and more about the true secrets of the creation. In a physical life, nothing is going to change that much. You still have to go to work, you still have the will to drive, you still have everything else. But in the progress, in next 10, 20 years, next God knows how many years as the man progresses, the changes will come through. Many times, I sat, and I sit in front of my old father, and I think this man has seen so much. Forget about it, 85 years ago, 90 years ago, there were not that many cars. Cars were something very rare in the Middle East. Seeing the cars, seeing the computers, seeing the edge of science, Adapting to become an X-ray engineer, and then adapting more with everything else, and the age still strives to learn. I don't think anyone will have seen so much changes that the last generation before us. And we just walk into it as it's nothing. It's been there, and it's our right to have a car, it's our right to have a computer, it's our right to have everything else. But, if we were asleep hundred years ago, 
and wake up today, the shock is amazing. I think the shock from now in the next 10 years will be the shock from the last 100 years and maybe more. Where the man does not need to burn a car, where the man does not need to worry about the energy, where the man is not worried about the food, man is not worried about anything at all, the only worry man will have in the next 10-15 years, if we can push for the peace is, how am I going to help the others? How am I going to be useful to something else? Because I have everything I want and I can produce what I want. We should change and the life structure will change. The world peace dividend is so huge that we cannot even contemplate on it. The warmongers have pushed and convince the others, they kill you, we have to buy to be protected. We go the reverse, we sign for the peace and we know we won't be attacked, we won't, we, there is no need for it. Putting the fear of being destroyed has sold arms. Putting the joy of, we serve our nations and nobody will do, you'll have nobody come to destroy because it's here, we teach you more. I said something in a hidden way, past few weeks, past few days, when the Chinese soldiers go to India and help the Indians to become like them. When you look at China, there is a huge misunderstanding. You got to realize how the Western media have changed things to fit themselves not to be so long. I'll give you an example, and then you understand very clearly how the game has been paid in media against, for example, China. Chinese population, more or less, just around about 2 billion, 1.8 billion. And a nation is versatile, nation is rich, nation has gained a lot from its own internal resources. What the West has made, is that we get a cheap labor in China, and we get things cheap. But, what people have not realized, is everything is cheap for the Chinese. And it's two billion of them. If you put the population of the whole of Europe, America, South America and Africa together, does not come to two billion. So, the wealth and the money which paid by the West to buy things from Chinese is actually what is the European or whatever they've taken the knowledge to China, they produce it for the Chinese, the leftovers have come to Europe and we are happy to have the leftovers. When you walk into, when you look at the shops in China, they have the latest thing that we even haven't got in Europe. Last time I was coming back from China, eight years ago, they had this double chip card, in the West it was sought after, and then everybody was using it. European Americans are taking the leftovers, and they are happy to be superpowers. The nation of 1.8 billion, 2 billion, has got such a huge consumption, they produce 100,000 or 100 million of one item, one million being exported to outside is just the leftovers. It's a cream on the top, which brings huge assets to the nation. When you buy plasma screens, how many plasma screens is sold in the West? If every, every child, adult, teenage, old man buys one plasma screen, in America and in Europe, it becomes more or less, roughly, one-third of what the Chinese can buy. I used to be in business, we had a very good way of making business. We sell the top rubbish at cream, and the rest brings the assets in. So, if you look, where the West was selling arms, Chinese brought technology, developed, and built and the leftovers became usage by the West. 
and we are happy that we are producing in China and it's cheap. Of course it's cheap, they sold the cream to their own nation, the rubbish has to be cashed in. And we are happy that we take the technology. The dream comes from the ignorance of the knowledge. When I speak to the Chinese and tell them, you have to be proud of yourself, what your nation has achieved, they don't understand that they literally, the leftovers are given to the West. They've been brainwashed that the West has everything and you don't have anything. And in reality, <coughs> they, they make everything. And the ones which are on top, what I call, not needed if you like to call it, is served at the dish of European Americans. And that's why I push with peace through China. I am not an ideologist, I've been in the world of business for too long. And I know the game. And I understand one thing very clearly. When the propaganda machine in America and in Europe turns to peace, peace will be in the eye of the Europeans only. China is at peace with itself, at peace with its neighbor, and they are doing a thriving business, while they are busy fighting. The war only exists on CNN, BBC and Al, Al, Al Jazeera, nowhere else. The only way this peace plan will work, is to get, to target, to encourage, and cajole two people. One is the Iranian President, and one Israeli Prime Minister. One Chinese leadership, and get one more country to come in, and they play the game. That one, we have in our hand. If we can push the Russians to sign a peace treaty with China, because they are both at the same strength in so many ways, ideology and the strength of power of what they have. If we can help to bring down the borders between China and Russia as one nation, peaceful nation, then Iran with Russian border, changing the armies to work, to the benefit of man, as there are no borders, we have cracked the whole position. The easiness of it is, you all have so much computers and time in front of you. It will be good if the webmasters could put some sort of a meter, as you do, how many people you posted, just come in. Go to the other chat rooms, go to the other organizations, ask them, we need help, we are pushing. Let them come in. Second, third of August becomes irrelevant. Tomorrow morning, I'm meeting again, and I go, as I said, to Vatican, to push for the Pope to sign. I don't carry any papers with me. I explain the benefit. My name is my reputation, and I can carry it. The Chinese people, you are free to go. Don't wait for a word in a letter or whatever. Do work with your soul, and with your papers. With everything, print the peace treaty, for the letter from you to the uh, president to the committee and floated on the rivers in China. Let it become river of peace. Somebody will pick it up, somebody will read it, 
message in the bottle will be picked up. Convey your desire for peace by elevation of the nation. Not by destruction of the nation. I have a heavy time with the Iranian President. It's going to be a heck of a lot of a job. First of all, it will change the Middle East situation, because then the Iranian President, as a peaceful man, will move to the other nations in the Middle East unannounced. Landing as neighbors, you don't need to knock on the door of a neighbor, make an appointment, I mean, for peace. The peace program has to be done, that it can carry its momentum through with the logic. Disarming is very easy. I release more knowledge in next few days for a total disarmament. Absolute total disarmament. But there is one problem. The cars on the street won't drive either. As there will be no planes to fly as there will be no ships to float, as there will be no man hungry, as there will be no one having fear of hunger. I have brought you to that point, and there are enough reactors around the globe, you have built, you have made enough ganses, that if I just give you the last pieces of puzzle, you will paralyze the human race. Maybe we need it. Maybe it's the time to do it. Bringing peace takes time. Bringing peace needs a lot of wisdom. You can fight hand to hand. Or... I just received the message, I'll read it for you, it just clicked on. It comes, you have a huge support. They've tried everything, but they failed. The beauty of it is, It doesn't take much to create peace now. We don't need, I tell you how you treat, how you work. I call you Mr. Declarations, you're listening, you've been there every word and you publish every word. Publish, you're asking for peace. And all those telephone calls and comments you put everywhere, now say, you want peace too. Use that pen and that internet you work so hard with, with your supporters in the government of Belgium and the rest, to publish the peace letter. 
maybe, maybe with it, you find peace in yourself. You have brought so much power to Keshe Foundation with what you've written, that it amazes me how negativity can become positive. It comes to the point that people become totally fed up of war, and now they are open for peace. I will release so much knowledge, it will take man thousands of years to understand, but tomorrow we can paralyze all the armies in the world. The more advanced technology you have, the easier becomes to paralyze. This is the irony about it. The most advanced systems, can be infiltrated very, very well. The process of peace needs a lot of courage and a lot of commitment. It has to be said, that we need to understand one thing. For those of you who did not understand the teaching of the past few weeks, or past few days, or you came to understand more, I tell you what it means. You looked into the dimension of the principle. You looked into the dimension of the soul. You looked into understanding that the weaker gets fed by the stronger. But one point you did not grasp is that the weaker needs to receive from the stronger but at the same time, the stronger needs to receive from the weaker, that it can operate. The point you missed, is that, as the man is weaker, in the transmutation of the energy to the stronger, he can assert his will, which is his wish. This is how you control, spaceship reactors. Assertion of wish. If you remember, the minister said, it's just water, till we explained, add a few drop into acid, and see if it becomes alkaline. Add a few drop of the water, in 
into the water and see if it becomes more alkaline. And then, this is not the water, it carries hidden energy. Then, if this is understood, it should have been understood by those who are building these reactors, to understand one thing. As the soul of the man receives to give, man on the giving side can add his wish to it, which becomes a control of it. In the future, the man of a space will have one man who they trust, what they call the present time, the captains. But, they are not the captains, they are the, those souls who we trust to be correct, and the conduct to be correct. Those souls who push for perfection of humanity and the universal community. I tell you how you control a reactor. Many of you sat there with these motors and with these gadgets, you turn them up, you turn them down, you speed it up, you speed it up. None of these works. Because you are not spinning the fields. You are spinning the physicality which is acceptable to you. You start spinning and changing by the spinning, the strength of the different field layers, you can do whatever you like. Just remember one thing. Have you ever seen an engine, rocket propulsion, or a propeller on Earth? Then you understand. One question to ask yourself, whose wish is turning this planet? And then, on whose wish, on the order of mass, we can change things. As man opens up into a space, you will see the size of the ships, that you could not even imagine. Made out of nothing, into the structures, that the souls would like to come to, to be physical, to see each other, or to be in touch with each other, in a given environment, that they can see the others, or other souls to be in touch with. The conformation of existence of themselves. You got to realize, in the span of universe, life never finishes. Man is immortal. And man has not understood this. The fear of man of death, is so, so ridiculous, that it shows the lack of existence in the understanding of the knowledge. Once the soul of the man is created, itself being created from the soul of the mother and the father's combination of the two as a seed, man's soul is immortal. absolutely immortal. Man should have no fear of death, the faster he finds a way into a space. Because in the space, there is no death. It's understanding of the expansion of the soul of the man. What we are afraid of, what we call death, and we pay so much money to bury the physicality, is the freedom of the soul of the man, in the expansion of the universe. As we manage to gather the fields of the universe in itself, we allow it to create a higher density, that it can absorb more, that by it, it can become a part of the totality, that it can serve more. Those of you who have a fear of death, there is no end. The beauty of it is, that even the physical part, which left behind, itself becomes part of the soul of another being, another entity, another part, even becomes part of the soul of the planet. If you understood what I thought, past few minutes, you'll understand, you can master a ship, you can master the space on your own. 
but in understanding the totality and effect of the totality on each other. When you sit down, when you think about your life, try to see where you've seen your soul. How you've seen your soul, the way you've seen your soul. How you feel about the presence of your soul within you. And if you overcome that fear, now that it was somewhere else, now, now it's inside me, I have to handle it, I have to understand it. Then, you find something very interesting. Try to change, to interact part of the energy of your soul with that soul. Then, you will see the change. If you ever find yourself at peace, then that's the point where you can find your soul. That's the strength of your soul. If you can find peace with giving and joy, loving, you find you have a big problem. You're on the path of elevation. When giving gives you joy, means you receive more to give, then you understand you have matured as a human being. And a lot of people think they give, but in fact they are the biggest takers. But, on the other hand, if they haven't taken, they couldn't give, because that impression is part of their lives. Those of you who are man of military, or you've been in the army, I give you, I show you one way to disarm the whole army where you work. Those of you who want to disarm the armies, it's very simple. Create six to twelve, maybe more, small reactors. Fill them up with deuterium. And put one reactor of hydrogen around any site you like. The strange thing is, Nothing will work anymore. If you want to jam a system that no aircraft can fly, that's the easiest thing to do. Fill your reactors with three tubes. Do not turn them with the motors. Get them to turn by their own strength of gravitational magnetic field. Do not forget, when we speak about field of tritium, we pass the point of liquid plasma. If you remember, I told you very simply. Now, this invisible ghost becomes the end of weapon technology. What does this mean? Let's share knowledge. Let's end up with a tool of war.
you made tritium with the liquid gans of it, you put the tritium with the water in the core. If you remember, I'm fed up of staying in hotel rooms for making peace for man. Here, put two measure. Here you put one measure. Here, you make four measures. Here, you make eight measures. The same container. The rest filled up with liquid plasma. If you rotate this one, physically, you know what you get. You get that center point. The center point, if you turn this one, will be a center point. It will be a center point here, and a center point here. <laughs> In rotation, the strength of this here will be 1, the strength of this will be 2, 4, and 8. You put this with this in the right order, you will make the plasma to move internally. The higher pressure pushes this to move. Once this getting to move, so this, so this. You need no motors. The field in the center are created. Hollow. Principle. And all you need to do one thing, to find a way to carry this out, the strangest thing will be anything here will become dynamic. If you have it chosen H3, you achieve a huge jamming system. If you have put H2, you see, you achieve solidification. And if you have put H on its own, then you'll find out a vacuum gap of communication you create a vacuum condition of fields. Now you understand. When you go to a structure, I feel sorry for those who get stuck from now on. In the structure of the reactors, you have a star formation tree. If you manage to place a reactor in between each one, that is, this makes this, if you understand it in a way, it should be one here. If you make 
this blue reactors of deuterium, you create a floor for your spaceship. Deuterium is solid condition gravitational magnetic field. And if you increase this to H3, the field will cover hundreds of thousands of kilometers. Goodbye to every military weapon technology. Total cost of this system will be less than thousand dollars. It can be left in a suitcase, nobody will know. It can be left in a box, nobody will know. It just works internally and silences every weapon. It cannot be used for harming, because it just balances, it cannot harm. If you use total tritium in all your reactors, something strange will happen inside the ship. You walk it, you become man of peace. You direct it, you make a man of peace. Don't forget, tritium is a giver. And what you're short of, because this is a fundamental strength, it gives that it can be received, but what is short of? This is the only solution we see to overcome the problem which exists on this planet. Tritium is the answer to the shortage which is needed. And I have shown you from the first day how to make CH3. That's the reason. I warned American forces and I warned American military very heavily. People of the Keshe Foundation have access to CH3 and all of you around the world, if you can manage the Gans of CH3 and then extract the center field that it cannot be seen, but the fields will be of the CH3, of the tritium. You create three conditions at the same time. The men who come across it, will receive every desire in what they need, because it fulfills the emotion of the man. No man will touch the arm. In the process of conversion of tritium, in giving so much, it becomes deuterium. And with it, solidifies every chip. Which means, no gun shall fire present weapon technology obsolete. All the spacecrafts which are made for bombing will become birds, metal birds which are promised. And all the ships will be the same. Total cost less than maybe twenty dollars. You can paralyze the most advanced weapon technologies of the world. If need be, we have to do, because we are men of peace. Deuterium and tritium do two things. Elevate the soul of the man, and the other one, if used the right way, solidifies every weapon technology. Two ways. It changes the carbon. But you have to use it extensively at the highest speed, that it can span hundreds of kilometers. Those of you who are in America, and you know how to make tritium, 
and Ethereum, you can literally bring your nation to peace. If your wish is, and in less than a week you can do the job, the President will sign for peace, because he has no choice. He has no arms to fight with. Those supporters of Keshe Foundation in Jewish State, in Israel, make as much deuterium and tritium as you like. You disarm your nation to peace. Don't forget, everything comes from hydrogen. Everything comes from that basic structure. Every deuterium you put into one element, you make a new element. You take a deuterium, you have the deuterium, becomes a helium. Then add another deuterium, it becomes another element, and then another element, deuterium, and then another deuterium, carbon, oxygen. Now you understand. By combination of deuterium and the ratio, you can build, can make any element in the universe. But there is one thing left. The space gap which you create, you call it neutron, in plasma does not exist. That is why, if you go back to my teachings, very, very long time ago, I said, when it comes to the plasma, for example, nitrogen, take 20% off, 30% off, because in plasma of nitrogen, there is no physical matter of neutral. And more or less, 20% extra neutrons, take, gives you the plasma weight. Now you understand why I explain, take so many 50% off, because when you have so many deuterium, you have created matter state of a space gap in the matter state, but in the plasma state you don't have it. So in fact, the only thing you calculate is the deuterium level. There are no neutrons. Now you understand more why I was telling you, take it 30%, 40% off. Because surplus energies, who, which are not converted even into neutron, are within the boundaries of the plasma of ganses. So, now you understand, those of you who have been around, I've been telling you, for example, when it comes to copper, take 20% of the weight of it, the mass, Magnetic gravitational field mass is 20%, less than 60, is around 50. Because it's roughly the number of free neutrons in mathematical, physical dimension, which we think could be as an energy or converted into particle as a neutron exists. Depending on the ratio. Now you understand how all my teachings come together. So, if you want to elevate the soul of the man, and then at the same time, stop the weapons, count how many deuterium cores you need to make, or how many tritium deuterium cores you need to make. You need to make. A lot. And a lot. And if you ratio load them, they start moving, and once they start moving, they move each other, and the whole circus starts. It'll take us less than a month to disarm all the armies. Not to disarm, they are dead, they are beautiful, gorgeous guns, they are most beautiful aircraft carriers, but they cannot shoot a single bullet.
Russians technology which paralyzed and the Iranian technology which paralyzed the most advanced defense technology of the United States in the past two or three years, we've seen it in the past four years, plays with the matter state fields. What I've just taught you plays with the plasma field, which is much stronger and is not reversible. Because if you listen, when the magnetic field comes, the system jams, and then when you move the magnetic field, it comes back again. But this time, if you work with the plasma, the change is permanent. Once you become a man of peace, you cannot walk back, because you already learned the strength to absorb. I tell you one thing, Italians will have a hard job driving, because they can't face their arms anymore, because they never get angry, everything is hunky-dory. And the high-tempered driving will go through the window. Because they're all happy to just drive, to enjoy to drive. So, if you understood, I've taught you the weapon technology of peace. But if you use it correctly, it becomes a tool of energy. If you use it correctly, it becomes tool of space. If you use it in the right order, shall feed man for a lifetime. I've come to make peace, and I'll make peace, if it means I have to destroy everything man has made to destroy himself. Because he should have done to start with anyway. I make man to be ashamed to carry a gun, by elevating his soul, no other way. Because that way he becomes peaceful. Make as much to the human material as you can, understand the ratio, and understand you have to take energy from the center of it, not from the liquid plasma of it. And then if you know how to do that, and you have managed to do it, you manage to create as many electrons and protons as you like, and then you manage to create energy sources, and then you can manage to convert carbon to diamond. A conductor to a resistor. Those of you who work from the basic up to carbon, you find out most of the weapon technologies will cease to work. I have shown it, and I can show it in one show. Any questions? Thank you, Mr. Kesh. <clears throat> There's a... There was a question that I believe that it's was just answered by you. Um, Lynn asks, Mr. Kesh, can you please explain how tritium can dis dismantle the arms how this works. That was basically deuterium, deuterium has two systems on it. One is itself, which has to give energy, and one itself, by giving its energy, become deuterium. In one way, elevates the soul, if you look at it, and when it becomes deuterium, it solidifies the guns. You got to understand something very special, Plasma, in conversion to feeding the matter state, solidifies the matter state. Plasma, in interaction with the live plasma, which is the soul of the man and the body of the man, it elevates it. It's a very two different things, you have to understand. A gun, a chip, is a matter state. So, he accepts the fields which is, fits into his matter, and changes his matter state, his orientation. The soul of the man, and the body of the man, are in a plasma state, are in the cancer state. So when they receive the energy from the plasma of the tritium, it elevates them, increases their power to the point that they don't need anymore. They don't divide, they reach a point of balance. 
And this is what you have to understand. This is what's got to be understood fully. Otherwise, you run into a very big problem. When you talk about the work of the plasma, with the plasma, of the space of the time, of the energy of the body of the man, is the elevation. But, if you work that plasma, with a matter state, it's a conversion of the matter state. Okay, um, we have a question, of course, Mr. Gesh, can you please repeat the fastest way to create tritium and deuterium? Mm -hmm. Pardon? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Wolfgang asks, Mr. Cash, can you please repeat the fastest way to create tritium and deuterium? Um, CH3, I've taught you very easily. CH3 is the fastest way to create tritium. And then, if you go back in how you produce hydrogen, um, there are different ways of producing hydrogen. Uh, then you put the two together, in the, one is the matter state, one is the cancer state. The two will lead to creation of deuterium in a very simple way. Creating deuterium, there are, there are hundreds of different ways you can produce deuterium, but you have to understand, when you produce the gans of deuterium, or plasma field of the uh, deuterium, it's totally different than just producing deuterium. You got to understand how the whole thing comes together. Any other question? Um, Achilles says, may I ask a question about the structure of the plasma? In the plasma of CH3, where C sits in the center, so C is the proton, uh, and excuse H3 me, is the uh, uh, Stop, stop, stop. Uh, can you, can you twist your head one way or another, please? If you're talking about CH3, which you are talking about, is in the cancer state. What you're describing is matter state CH3. So, uh, you're wearing two hats, you're confused, that's why you don't see it. In a plasma, all the energies are in one entity. In a matter state, you have three, H three hydrogens and one carbon. This is what I tell you to be, you have to understand clearly which state you're working in. In the plasma state, which you produce, which is a cancer state, is one entity. It's not three things hanging on top of a separate and one in the middle. The confusion of understanding the science is your problem. In, uh, I can explain it to you very easily. For a lot, of, I've seen a lot of people making this mistake, and then they think they're right, and then they don't understand. When you speak CH3 in a chemistry, you're right. You have this. Yeah? When you speak about the plasma, is this.
the plasma of the carbon, the plasma of a hydrogen of three different strings, but all in one cup. All as one, feel or use as one plasma. This is the difference. You're trying to describe this, and you're trying to see what happens here. It doesn't work. This is a matter state. This is a plasma state. There are no three hydrogen, because here, the energy fields are all here. They're all part of one. When you get the Gans of carbon, CO, CH3, you don't see this as you see in chemistry. You see one Gans, one entity. So, the problem is, you have to define. You cannot be, as the Arabs call it, the ostriches, camel bird. They say, if you're a camel, where is your hump? It says, I'm a bird. They say, if you're a bird, why don't you fly? It says, I'm a camel. Understand what you're describing, then becomes very easy. Because in this process, you talk, we don't talk, we finish with this, this is gone. This is a history of the past. Understand the language. Then it's become very easy to work. It's one energy, there you have four items. Um, <clears throat> Mr. Cash David uh, states, uh, in order to make a free plasma, it's my understanding that you create a space for this to occur such as using an empty ball that you surround with a GANS, that through the rotation of the GANS around the empty ball, that a free plasma will form within the ball. Is this correct? Can you repeat again? Okay. In order to make a free plasma, it is my understanding that you create a space for this to occur, such as using an empty ball that you surround with a GANS that through rotation of the GANs around the empty ball, that a free plasma will form within the ball. Is this correct? No. But in the way, again, it's the same story as what you're talking about here, between the solid states and you describe it. You're, you describe half of the story, but then you fit you to bring another half from somewhere else. <laughs> sort of part way there to what we're no, trying to get totally. to. That's where the confusion comes. This is part of the, what we have to sort out. You have mentioned the, the term, the, the schizophrenia we have as humans, basically. Yeah, this yeah, problem so. of, of yeah. continually seeing things in the matter level. Yeah, so what happens? Let's do this. This is the Gans. you have a region of the water and then you have an area of emptiness where the emptiness comes from the field pressure from here This is like a jumping plate. You know, like a trampoline? The frame of the trampoline are the matter state. The waters are the canvas and the spring, and you jump in the center of the canvas. They elasticate. 
the springs. These fields, by their push and pull, create this vacuum here. Which means there is much more strength here, that it can keep these apart there. This field of strength here is so much, that it can keep all these apart here. In most of the systems we have seen, Ganses become like a band in the center. In very, very few systems we've seen the Ganses covering the whole of the ball. That is where the correct field forces come into operation. Where you've seen the Ganses on the side as a band, it shows that other gravitational field, magnetic fields play game into the system. It's not all Ganses. Earth gravitational magnetic field, the motor which you run it, plays a field on it, on the matter state, pressure field forces on the gas. So, when you take an empty cup, and you put some gases in it, and some liquid, this empty cup, becomes this here. You can take it out, after you run your ganses here, and you put with it just the plasma water here, that you enforce this to be in, and you can take this ball out, this is your new field plasma. I have put a, a, what do you call it? Um, a ball for this job. Because you have to be inside. If you look at it, what all you are doing is what we told before. You remember? This place to electron, and this stays a neutron, a proton. All you do, you take the seed, the strongest part out of the system. What you should see, the creation of vapor, or liquid, or like water around it. But you have to make sure, that the field strength stays in. This is what we thought last couple of weeks. This is the new energy system. Much stronger than you have ever seen. <coughs> to you it's empty, but it's exactly what the minister said. It's just water. The only time you're going to see the strength, is when you put it next to the other. And then see how they space each other. And then you will see how, the field around them, will create, auras, lightning, huge powers. Otherwise, this is exactly as I repeated. In Eindhoven, I put in the box and it says, empty box of the universe. It's full of fields. You had a problem to go from the Gans to Gans water, uh, liquid plasma, now you have to go into the field plasma. And this is the ultimate. There is no matter state to touch this, there is nothing, it's so pure. And then, because of his energy, now for the first time I understand why, when you look at the UFOs, those three spots on the knees are so bright, and they are transparent, you see them. You should not see these lights in the outside, but in fact inside is these empty plasmas, the field plasma. It's exactly, exactly, if you have understood, when we look at the structure of the, atomic structure on the heavy electronic systems, we see a fizzy light, 
running around the center, and we call that the electron. Because inside it, when we took the electro electron out of the mother, the center out of the neutron, it is a pack of energy. So, it's so powerful, that it creates lights around it. So, you shall see. Now you understand, when you create a space reactors, there should be nothing in it. And I said, night hold Empty box of the universe. And I showed it, when you touch the box, you get energy out of it, but the inside is empty. There it was a static, here it's dynamic. And because you put it in there, it already rotates, you don't, you, you got to learn one thing, trust your soul, trust your instinct. If you come to this level, and understand, then you can put these aside. This is what I was teaching the students from the motions. You take it from your soul, and the energy of it will shine. Because inside, this is your soul, and its interaction with the environment, will create light. If you create deuterium, you get solid floors. You have to understand how it works. I explained this to recently. You have deuterium, and then you have deuterium. These are the 18 and 9 in the middle, and then you have your 3 star formation. If you look, we always said, when 3 fields come in, you get solidarity, you get solid state. So, now here, you get a matter solid. But, on the ground floor, because you have the same coming up, you create yourselves floors. You can create floors by floors, without anything, just by gravitational magnetic field forces. And then, you have the shape of the craft, which is created by the dimension outside. Now you see how simple. If you understand it, even the solid surface of this planet is nothing but the illusion of the interaction of fields. If you can repeat what you walk on, you can create any shape craft with any flaws you like. Solid to walk on. Maybe it's time to understand something new. But we've done this many times. Skin of the man, three layers. The interaction of these three fields gives the body of the man their physicality. Where in fact, this leads to the creation of this, and this leads to the creation of this. This is the inner skin, inner meat, the flesh. But, the interaction of this, with this, allows the surface of the skin to exist. So, in fact, you use the third floor, or the third layer, to create the physicality. All you are doing is replicating what the skin of the man does. Nothing else. You have one center reactor, you have floor, the middle reactor, and the third one. Do -do 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 you have physicality here. And then, if you can repeat it, you create physicality as a floor here. So, this, with the interaction of the other reactors here, creates the physical boundary, and then, if you place it in the right way, you create floors. Have you seen anybody becoming concrete in a Everest mountain? No. Have you seen anybody come in making their valleys? No. The field interaction dictates it, allows it. <laughs> I 
our main aim is not to teach you how to make things. Our main objective at the moment is disarmament. And disarmament comes from understanding of the field. If you understand how matter is there, and you can create a field in reverse, even the guns will be empty. You can empty the bullets, the soldier thinks is carrying something in it, but it's actually empty. Because the box of it, or what you call the shell of it, has taken a solid state, but inside is a solid state of the wicked, because it stays it's in the powder form. You can fuse it, in a very simple way. And all, without fail, have carbon in them. So it's the easiest way to get to. What is carbon? Six electrons. It means you need six deuterium reactors. Or, you need order of six by strength, in respect to the one, that you create a flow and you solidify every single carbon in every strength. Or, you create a condition that, because it's plasmatic, it changes the orientation. This is a secret of matter state with the increase of the energy to a diamond structure. We have in our structure carbon. Earth is full of carbon powder. Amazingly, atomic carbon. carbon everywhere. I want to show you something very interesting. I'm going to do it this way first. You see all these little dots, the black dots? These are all the carbons. <sighs> on the combination of the pressure and flow of matter, because it's in the condition of the flow and the heat, some of the magma of the Earth is in the plasma state. When this plasma state's energy interacts with one of these carbons, what it does, it does a fantastic thing. It makes a, as it comes out, it makes a popcorn of it. The surface, which is, if, if I get this, I have to explain this in a very fine detail that you understand. Now you're all atomic nuclear physicists, you can understand this very well. This is that little fine carbon, which the heat of the plasma of, plasma of magma, which is an energy free transfer like a Gans. When it hits this, it has to go through a process. The heating goes back, makes the car, let's make this carbon like this, a big. Does the Chinaman job, you remember the Chinaman job? Nano quartz is surface. And then due to the rapid heat of transfer, this nano layers pop up to a gas, and then the center piece stays. And then what you get due the cooling is exactly where you put it, like you go through the gas, you put a hot plate, plate in, and then you put a hot water with caustic in it, nano quartz it, and then when it goes through the heat conversion on the sudden chill of the moisture, becomes a popcorn. There is your diamond. And, if you're a diamond dealer, 
when you buy a stone, diamond stone, you always see there is so much black in it. The black is the seed, comes from here. It's like a popcorn, you know when you get a corn and you put it on the hot plate, it just opens up, but you always have that little hard bit in the middle, it's not all soft. In the diamond, that piece is there. That's, we call it the mother in diamond business. So, what we do in diamond business, we somehow find a way to cut it out. If this is the, if this is the diamond. So, what we do, if you look at it the other way, and the mother is there, what they do in the diamond business, they cut this mother out. This is what they call, flawless diamond. The audio CVVS, very, very small piece there, they can't cut it up, because they can't then cut the diamond, the shape they like, it stays somewhere in there. The same process goes back in the work of converting microchips in missile, with all these tiny little legs. When you give it the field, these all popcorn, the carbon covers of your chips. What they do, they become nano-coated first. So, if they were conductors, now they become resistors. No chip can transfer any energy information. You see in your nano-coating, you can put in a 240 volt and you still hold it. This is what you do with the chips with the plasma. Because the chip is in the matter state, and now you introduce the field state to it, there it goes, millions of dollars of making a chip to kill. Now this is a chip to fry. A lot of money burned on it. Total cost, one dollar. I think the man will go back to sword and arrow, and then before he gets there, he finds out, we've done this, it's no good, we go back for peace. That's where it's going to end up. This is where I'm taking you. Creating deuterium field plasmas. This is this, sir. Now you understand, I have given man the most powerful energy system in the universe. This is why we keep on telling you, the present power supplies, we are creating a lot of energy. Now you know where it comes from. And then, if you transfer it across, you can feel it. You remember that song, it says, bye-bye, goodbye, hello happiness, it's time to be happy. Cost less than a dollar to bring the most advanced ships on the high seas on to hold. It costs nothing to drop as many birds of the skies. But I'll tell you one thing, go back to what I said. The intention of the soul carries with it, cannot be used as a weapon. So man will understand. Now you understand why when I tell you that my technology has been in the hand of Iranians and others and nobody has been harmed it, because by the nature of his work, by the nature of the structure, it cannot harm no soul. Matter state does not transfer into the plasma state, body of the man, the soul of the man is in plasma state. 
only takes what it needs, saturates to peaceful condition. It's the matter state which changes, so, the conductor becomes a resistor, so the chip is no good, the legs do not transfer any more energy. You remember what we said from the beginning, maybe now a lot of you understand exactly what I'm talking about. Makes sense to a lot of you. You remember we said, this is your plug, and you put your Magrav system here, and then it goes into your Magrav system, and then you connect the Magrav system to your fridge, whatever. And remember what we said from the beginning, if you take the wires of your line, you'll see them all nano-coated black. Yeah? And all become resistive. 20 mega ohm. You remember? Now you understand what happens to the leg of the chip. The plasma does this job. So, goodbye. I advise the American government very fast to come to a peaceful agreement, otherwise they'll be eaten up. Now I open the weapon of peace. Now you can see, put this thing right in front of you from day one. What did I say from the beginning? If you put a Magrav system in a plug, and then you go and check the wiring sometime later, you see them all nano-coating, which means they don't need the covering, which means they become resistive. These things are all made of copper. They need to be done. Now you understand the weapon technology is finished. I'll read you something very interesting, just come in. And I answer you, in public, you understand. It says, <coughs> I'm wondering why you singled out Australia in this way. I can only think that it would make it impossible to convince the Prime Minister to take up your technology. My advice is, all the countries will go there, he won't be the only one. My advice is that, not only Australian Ambassador, uh, Pre Prime Minister will go to the website, everybody else will go to the website, and the beauty of it is, the government will start looking, they already have looked, they already know who we are, where we are. But, at the moment, we have only Australia refusing, then we have more nations refusing, so they all have to be done. This is not singling out, this is the first one who's come in. We are not singling out nobody. We are singling out the human race to become peaceful. It is very interesting. We have made a warmongers, it's the first nation who are, only thing is to, Say, no, we sign, we move you to the peaceful nations, that's all it is. It's not, uh, blame and shame. It is for the world leaders to understand, that, peace needs it. It's very interesting, it's coming in from our webmasters, that somebody else has posted this. Australians have been really hit hard with this. They want the world to be changed, nation, nations respond to two reasons. Every nation that want to respond, excuse me webmasters, can you put this on the main side? This comes from Germany. You are a warmonger, if you're not a peacemaker. It's a very straightforward, you see the discussion starts, and now, we don't need to defend, we have to understand, the purpose of our work. We, I chose this warmonger, very clearly, because it touches the soul of the man, it touches man to think.
you are a warmonger if you're not a peacemaker. You can't stand on a neutral base if you are a minister, if you are a prime minister. You see that the whole thing is, now write to the Prime Minister of Australia, says, you've been called a warmonger, can you stand this, or would you like to clarify your point, if you find two hours to fly, you, you arrange to fly halfway around the world to go to a funeral of a President, or a Prime Minister, or Mandela, and spend 12 hours on a flight, go and bury the wars, go and celebrate or attend the funeral of wars. That's all it is, we want to bury fighting, we want to bury wars. Ministers, Prime Ministers, Presidents, Kings, find time to go to a funeral when another King or a Head of State dies. They mourn for it. Let them go and celebrate the death of war. I tell you something, if you're not Jewish, if you're a Jewish, you know exactly what I'm talking about. All the Jewish guys, most of the Jewish guys carry a hat in the back of the car. Do you know why? At least the ones I know in Manchester, all of them do without failure. They all have a hat in the car. What we call a soup ball. You know what I'm talking about. Do you know why they carry it? If they have to go to a funeral, because if you're a Jew and you die, they have to bury you by sunset. So they're always very ready to go for funeral. So are the world presidents and the leaders. If they can take the government off, if today President Trump dies, all the world leaders find a way, cancel occasions to go to America to see him buried. How come they can't find time? to bury wars. They have another engagement. I wonder what would they say to the American government, to the next person, sorry, we didn't have time to come for the funeral. Sorry, you're not getting our contracts. This is the death of wars. Every president, every prime minister has, should make time for it. If they mean they're not the warmongers, if peace is there in the agenda, Or, as I said to a diplomat, is the war the mistress of the world leaders, where they enjoy themselves more? They talk peace at the front, and they have a mistress in the back, which gives them more pleasure by killing? There are warmongers. It's very easy, instead of telling us to change, call right to the Australian Prime Minister. This is your response, it's on the net. We can find time to go for a funeral of a government leader, find time to go for a funeral of war. I tell you sometimes it turns out very nasty. Those of you who know about the history of Iran, uh, just, it this created most of the downfall of the Shah. Uh, a few years before his, he goes, he organized a huge celebration, 2500 years of Iranian monarchy. And he get these soldiers made like 2000 years ago, and horses, and the long beard, and everything else, most of you are old enough remember. It was a celebration for a couple of weeks, all the schools closed, we had to watch this beautiful, ten set up for everything else. The Queen of England wanted to snub the Shah, that you're not a king, I'm the only Queen. So, out of her arrogance, sent the Princess Anne to Tehran. Iranian took it as insult, but they addressed it very fine. Anne in Farsi means, excuse my French, shit. So, they said, the shit is here. When a queen does not have time to respond with another, he gets mud in it. If a president, a prime minister, does not have time, other engagements, than peace, 
then he does not deserve to be a Prime Minister. Because the job of a minister, prime minister, war leader, is to establish peace for his nationals, under any circumstances, even if he means to go to the other side of the world. Sorry, sorry, prime minister. It's your job to find time in that day to be at the funeral of war. So you're a warmonger, unless you change position. I'm making sure I don't get visa to Australia, but it doesn't matter, it brings peace. My friend in Australia, let the Prime Minister listen to this part. We we'll cut it out and send it to you that you can give it to him. The prime position, the prime object of any world leader has to be peaceful, peace nation, that he can spend his time and his money in elevating the soul and the physicality of his nation. If peace gives that, he has to spend all his time. Not, he does not have time. I wonder what he's up to on the 2nd and 3rd of August. Watching a golf game, or going to a football match. It's the responsibility of every world leader to be there. Otherwise they are warmongers, that's all. It's a very clear, I chose that word, I asked it to be put there. Start sending these, and if you like, send them the link. Would you like to stay on the warmonger, or would you like to be a peaceful maker? They will respond. It's the story of Nobel. He read his obituary, and he thought he understood what they are thinking about him, and he created Nobel Prize to cover the mess the killing he was producing by the machines he was selling, or the tools was selling. Sorry, I have to apologize. On the books of Keshe Foundation, Australian Prime Minister says it's a war monger nation, a person. It's you Australians who got to change it. You don't like it, we know we are very powerful, we got a lot of followers in, in Australia. Give the link to him, says, please read, how can you change this fine time we buy you a private jet, we give you time, we pay for it, the nation will pay for it. Whatever it is you're doing on the 2nd of August, get yourself to Israel, just sign the paper and fly back quick. The hot plates will still be hot. If the world leaders don't have time, other engagement for peace means, that engagement is selling arms and killing. It can't be any other thing, because it's more important to them. I hope, I hope the Prime Minister of Belgium will not refuse it. Because then we know what is up to. This is the basis I'm pushing the world governments to move. Because we have to make sure, we don't have time for wars, we want peace, but this time we have the tools of peace. As I'm speaking now, I'm getting information in the background. Team of scientists have got together, designing, government scientists, designing the Keshe Foundation factory. Not us, not us anymore. And the clicks you hear in the background, is them telling me, can you stop teaching for a few minutes, we have to discuss. Government, Officers, officials, scientists are designing the next generation of the Keshe Foundation factories worldwide. This is where we are moving. You want me to read it for you? I'll read it for you in one second. This is what I call the beauty of what is coming up, and people don't understand. Text is very simple. Mr. So-and-so has given us the layout of the factory. This is the government officials. They are giving us the total layout. This is how they want to see the factory to be done.
Sorry, I have to interrupt, but this will come every day we go. Please start writing as of as you as we are talking, as you are listening, please write to as many embassies, as many ambassadors, as many presidents, as you can see, Africans, Asians, anybody you can get and send them as many. You're invited and then tomorrow, the two days later we said, Are you a warmonger? You're not cannot come. When they come, they submit. We are not doing the United Nations game. And we are not giving prizes like the Nobel Prize. Have you noticed the Nobel Prize? Anybody, any world leader who's received the more Nobel Prize has been the biggest murderers. Yasser Arafat, Obama. All the Israeli leaders. If you look, all the murderers have got the Nobel Prize. The ones who killed more, they got it more often. Prize, because it's actually, if you look at it, it's the essence of it. It came from dynamite, it came from killing, so it actually does, it praises the same people, it's under the disguise of giving a prize. And then they share it, Yasser Arafat with the Israeli Prime Minister for peace talk, and they killed more, and they're still killing each other. It'll be a fantastic time to see Netanyahu hugging and truly kissing Rohani on the steps of the Mount Kam. I wonder how many Jewish lobby guys pull their hair out in Senate. There it goes, the big military contract with Saudi Arabia. We'll see a lot of Old Jewish guys walking around the Senate very soon. But it's easy, all it is Saudi Arabia says, I will give you the money, but make tools of peace with it. We wait till you change condition. Don't withdraw the finances, we still need to give jobs in the United States. Because if they are happy, we are all happy. If we can keep everybody else happy with it. If Saudi Arabia gives 10 billion to 12 African nations, it will change the life in Africa. I tell you how you're going to manage with the Prime Minister of Australia. It's very simple. That in peace means loving, loving means a lot of prosperity for your nation. Show him the use. In the next few days, we start showing huge support internationally for Keshe Foundation. I'm traveling around the world in the past few days and in the coming time, just trying to structure peace, but through the elevation of the knowledge of the science of technology. And I think it should be the job of every Keshe Foundation, the job of every member of the Council, and Earth Council. You have time. Work on it. There is a lot of fear how, what they are going to do. The only fear we have is, what are children going to do if we don't find peace? I showed you how you can paralyze. It's on the table. You had this. It's nothing new. You, you know this knowledge from two years ago. When you saw the wires in the wall going black, you think it's going to be any different when you put a heavy plasma conversion, it's like a hot heater, like you create a Chinese pan? You think it's going to be any different on the microchip levels of the weapon technology, missiles or aircraft carriers? Not at all. Exactly the same. They are made of copper. The biggest weakness in the whole structure of military is the coppers they've used for every electronic 
things. And the smallest strong field of plasma, nanocoat them. They cannot work if they are isolators. They have to pass the information through these legs that the weapon can fire. All these, if you look at the microchip, it's just like this. Without these, oh, I touched something, it got excited. Look, I can move this. I'm going to go back there. One thing it is, if this is a chip, it has these legs, you remember? Now they are nano-coated. They have to be copper to be able to transfer information. Nano-coated, they are no good. Chip as good as not being there. And when they cannot pass information, they cannot even fire, so none of them can even blow in their cages. We have made a tool of peace even for the weapon itself. High plasma nanocodes so rapidly. And I always told you, plasma nanocoding is one of the best. Now we have a snooker. Now you had all the knowledge, I just put it in front of you. Now you see how simple it's become. You created that field of the plasma, and that field of plasma has a ship in between, and all has chips, all goes paralyzed. The problem with the Russians, when they use it, they did not intensify it, because there is a problem with this. They have to directionalize it, that their own crafts does not get it. This is the problem with it. They have found a way to directionalize the fields of the plasma. Don't forget, they themselves carry electronics, huh? And the electronic shielding of a plasma is extremely easy. You can do it with the absolute ease. I've taught that to the Iranians. And it's so simple. When you have an aircraft flying, you make the bottom side as a spread of a shield. So, any, any, any craft, on the need of it, is within the range of it, comrades. You see, the beauty of it is, when we captured the American spy plane, the American made it to damage itself, but when we opened the chip, because it wasn't damaged, the only thing was to ignore the nano-coated part, no, it's a conductor. Replication of the chips is very easy. You know how you do it. You take number of huge MRI close sections. You see the whole pattern. Now, that makes us know how, it's, how chips can be copied. What they do, you put the chip, in a very strong MRI, and like your brain, you scan it, section by section. And in the thickness, and you modify it. Now you see all the connections, everything matches up. Then you can replicate it. The only problem was that, uh, what do you call it, the destruction buttons in the craft did not go off. They made a very, very stupid mistake is that even the destruction buttons all have a couple of connections. So, that's why we could capture the American plane so easily. Because if you jam electronic, the other parts will still work with it, if it does. This way, because you nanocoat everything instant, you literally fry it with the plasma. And it says, it's exactly what you do with the caustic, you know, you put a caustic and you hang it, the steam coat, it all goes black, and that's what it does, but you do it with the, uh, with the plasma. It doesn't touch the pilot, it doesn't touch the human beings. They walk away peaceful. And we saw it, nobody saw it. When, when the American, 27 American military walked after the ship and said they don't want a war, because what came and touched the fields of the chips, they could not communicate, 
it touched their souls, they became man of peace. This is what I told you, now you understand. The example of it is, Donald Duck, as we call it. The most advanced ship, the officers walked out, because the field elevated the souls, but the same fields literally nano-coated everything else in the ship. No harm. When we listen to the news, we look at it different than you listen to the news. We look at the facts and the data in a way scientifically makes sense. Why should 27 people walk out? They don't want a war anymore. And what they said, the government can't protect us, you know, but they became men of peace. You know in America, people are producing factories, producing arms. I drop a few hundred of these uh, CO2 ganses on it, what do you call it, the plasma, field plasmas on them. Around the place, just in the car, drive around. Ten cars, with ten of them running. You become more peaceful and people in there start walking out, nobody wants to make a consequence anymore. I met, as I told you, in Farmro, the head of uh, weapon strike technology. And after a lot of talks with each other, he said, you know, I'm walking away from weapon technology, because I've become, I've, I've understood the message of Baha'u'llah. Somebody told me about the Baha'i faith, and I cannot touch weapons, now I know the truth. If a message of a Prophet changes a man not to fight at such a high level, imagine what we can do with the soul of the man, without even giving a message. Maybe my cult will be a peace cult, and we just use plasma to elevate the soul of the man. But not the hippie ways, the true way. As I said, I open more and more weapon technology of peace, and I show you an example right in front of you. The plug has been there, now you know what you can do with the other ones. Now you know how to create a massive, massive deuterium cores. If I was American leaders or the governments to, oh, I know, weapon technology, I run to sign the peace treaty before it becomes an embarrassment. That I can't sell any more weapons because they are useless. If you understand what to do and you understand, you can use a softer way of plasma deuterium or tritium. It's just put it around like a traffic lights on the streets. People continuously receive what they need, the calmness, the sereneness, and then at the same time, because the soul gets elevated and it orders, the food becomes a thing of a path. There's a lot to do. My battle at the moment are two people and see how we can get these two elevated. Please write to all the embassies. If you have time, write to every president and embassy. Just the embassies. There are 199 embassies multiplied by the in every other country. This is about 150 embassies in each country. If there is a hundred, that's about about 15,000 of them. You know, yeah, 15,000 embassies to write to, and there's about so many cash foundation powers. You can bombard it. We want you to be there by peace. And we put on the wall mongering till you come and say, we're coming for peace, we change you to a peacemakers. But this time, peace has to be the real way. And we have found our first supporter to encourage the Prime Minister of Australia. They use lies to create war, we showed them the truth and shamed them. 
they walk into the peace. I was passing Vatican today, and I saw people destitute, hungry, in cardboard boxes again. And then I thought, when the Pope is going to walk and see these people and say, you can have one of the houses here. In Vatican, at the moment, they're kicking everybody out because the rent is better from public than they're giving them cheaper to their own priests. And the priests serving a lifetime, becoming homeless. In cardboard boxes like Vatican. I'm going to go and take you some pictures, hopefully tomorrow when I go to Vatican, and you will see how true it is. The richest religion in the world, within five meters from its boundary of its nation, people in cardboard boxes begging for food. It does not feed. I'm in Rome. I'll show you the pictures, hopefully tomorrow, the day after. And I wonder, how many people, more destitute, are living in boxes around the world, around the churches. Buildings empty without soul. Any other question? Maybe I'll go there tonight, because night time is a cold time, they all come literally by the borders of the Vatican, in the window seals. And tomorrow teaching, I'll post it for you, you can show it. Less than five meters from Vatican. Actually, they are part of the Vatican. Inside the Vatican boundary, people in cardboard boxes, the true, and they are Christians as well, they are not Jews or Muslims, that they don't feed them. Time for peace, not only in the borders, which that shall have been done, but in the soul of the man. I made my mission, and I'll achieve it. Uh, Mr. Keshe, there's a question uh, Gunther asked, can we organize a special workshop, how to make properly the H, H2, H3? Is this a of good course. idea, or shall we wait? Of course, if he does help you to do it, of course. I told you, don't make any more ganses, don't do anything. If you can do it, I tell you something else you can do without doing it. Understand the brain of the man is made of such a structure. Okay, that's a really good clue, I think. More than a clue. <laughs> more so than a clue. So we can work with our, our own Ganses, but not with our Ganses, I guess you could say. In a way, in so many ways. You were talking this morning, you cut diamond with diamond. So it needs the soul of the man to reach under the soul. By the way, in the real true diamond business, we don't cut diamond with diamond, we polish with the diamond, we cut with copper. That's right, yes. Thank you for that clarification. Now that you say that. <laughs> no, because I used to be a diamond business. We know we don't cut diamonds with diamonds, we polish it with it. But we cut with very thin, very thin discs of copper. Mm hmm yes. So it's more of the polishing process. Uh, yeah. I guess the diamond has to be already uh, rough, roughed out or whatever. Yeah, they cut it, but it's a very, very fine job. Does you know how you, a, make, you know how to make a white diamond, black a white diamond out of a black diamond? Cut the mother diamond out; it becomes black. The true black color is essence of mixture of gases. I wonder if we can do that with the with our presidents and the prime ministers. Just cut the black part out. Does it take a uh, diamond cutter to, to do that job? Yeah, well, what it is, I was explaining this earlier on, I just explained it. 
the diamond be, when we get the diamond, when you hold the diamond in hand, diamonds have different shapes. By the shape of it, you know if it's from a river, or it comes from the volcanic eruption, or it comes from the sea, or it comes from the land digging. I used to hold it, and I could tell which rivers, which part of the world they come from. I used to do it as a pleasure, and you are 80% right. Because each river rolls a stone different, the cut of the stone is different, the explosion of the carbon to a diamond is different. And then in that process, you you get, if this is... If this is a stone, there is a mother somewhere. We cut the mother out, and then we shape the cut to it. And if you have a very, very fine gas dot in it, you have a pink diamond, the gas, the pink, uh, the gas which creates a pink color, is here for example, you have a beautiful pink diamond, and the cutter by mistake cuts this gas out, and the stone turns white, loses its color. The stone drops by value quite drastically, and the diamond cutter loses its job. So is that the, the black spot, uh, it's like the, the physicality, the you might say? Yeah, it's the seed, it's where they started, life starts with it. Most of its surface has become nano, and then it explodes into a gas, then it becomes gans. I found a lot of uh, similarity in diamond world, and in my research, when I was working many times. That's what it is. If you look in the center of a, when, when you look at these ganses you hold, if you look at one gans, let's say CO2 gans you're holding, you see a white, but if you look inside it, there is a black spot. It's not all white. There is, inside it, in the center, there is a black spot, because, in fact, the black, in so many ways, uh, is a black hole, it's the center of the control, it's the same position, nothing changes. In the gas, this, the matter stays outside, because we can't see it. Once man educates himself, you'll find this black spot in there, that, that's the electron again. You can extract it. In the world of creation, everything is exactly the same. It just needs the insight to understand this. Can you please work very fast, all of you, and get the response from all the Presidents, and let's put them all in the warmongering, and see which one of them races to be back on the top. How many of you have sent any messages out, since we've been online today? Any? What's happening here? <laughs> Is that Caroline? <laughs> yes, and uh, repeated many times, so I'm, I'm assuming that uh, that echo meant something. I know she is. She's a little cutie chap. She doesn't give up. Um, we got to, and we have to push for peace. This is the only chance human race has for a long, long time. I'll send you a picture to you. When I come back from Vatican, and when I, after our meeting with the Iranian ambassador. And then I'll send you a picture from Vatican with all the poor people, poor people sitting around. I'm back, but without the halo. Yes. You hear me? <laughs> I'm yes. sorry for that. Um, I just want to inform you, um, there is one of the dignitaries in the United States being 
receiving the doctor's, um, what we say, he has a brain cancer. And Trump and Hillary and Obama, they're all on Twitter, twittering. And I've been sending them the connection with the peace letter and inviting them to sign the peace treaty. So I already reached three tonight. Can you explain? Um, I have to move around. Can you still hear me? Yeah. Okay. Um, it is stated that, um, I can't recall his name, just give me one second, please. There was a cancer found inside uh, John McCain, which is a long-held senator of the United States in Texas, I believe. It and, is that uh, and they found a brain cancer on Friday. They operated for a blood clot, which they thought it was, and uh, instead they found it was a, uh, a brain cancer. So they... Uh, the administration has been uh, taking to Twitter to to uh, express their condolences. Has he died? Not yet. Not yet. He's he just don't send condolences if he's still alive. No, they are praising him. Ah. And wishing his family and kids all the best of luck in this process of illness. And I just bumped into it, and I just made sure they received the invitation to come and sign the World Peace Treaty in Haifa. Yeah, I've got, uh, I've got some other news, too, that just happened by coincidence three hours ago exactly on the news here, which is when our workshop started for this part. I'll just put it out. Let me post it because it's interesting. You don't need me to screen off. In the background, any of you sending to anyone, just let us know. Just come online. This is yours, not ours. This is us who's got to bring a, a, what you call a piece on the table. What's this? Says? This shows uh, the headlines on the CBC News three hours ago. Trump reportedly ending the CIA plan to arm the Syrian rebels. The troubled secret program is to be phased out, according to the Washington Post. This is how always been. They're halting the they, years they, long they, program. Yeah, what happened? They find people, they arm them, and then these people become big headed, and then they become their enemies as well. Now they have to find what they arm the beginning. <coughs> You got to understand the present, uh, uh, the present president of uh, Libya. This guy was pushed by the British to go and create coup d'etat in Libya when Gaddafi was on. They captured him. They put him in prison. The British did a deal with him. They got him out of prison in exchange for the guy who brought the plane down. Remember the the Pan Am airline. He's exchanging the release for this guy's exchange, and then when they got rid of Gaddafi, they put the same guy back in to become the president now. The Libyan president is a, is a British uh, monarchy job. And um, the guy doesn't know what to do, because he, has ne he could never imagine to be, so he gets more outs and become a bigger enemy for them. Understanding uh, the world of war, politics, is very dirty if you go back to the root of it. We've seen the same thing in, in other countries, where they, they send people back in, and they, again, till they get it, and these people, they got back in, then they become big headed, then they become the problem for them. We saw Al-Qaeda, what's his name, Bin Laden was one of them. They arm them, and they, then they can't control them, because then they, these people think they are, the, they are in charge, and then now they have to solve a new problem, they created themselves, trying to create another problem. Uh, if we look, all this, this thing, it's within 10 countries in the Middle East are holding, and they're just pushing, because all the oil comes. The more richer country, oil country, the more war fear they create to drain them to buy more arms. The fear is the biggest problem they have created, and it's all Muslims. But tomorrow we see the real, very, very 
wealthy, and very, very, very wealthy, who sleep next to the wealthy. The true picture of Vatican will be very interesting. And then you understand how world, uh, world needs peace, because we did, we bring peace to a lot of other people, not just, just armies. We need a lot of peace, a lot of time, and then we can need to spend the money and time in. It does not mean when we go to a space, it's going to be all honey and everything else. That brings another dimension of sorrows and joys, but at least not harming. You got to understand how much effort they put in destroying. It takes a lot of effort. I, I explained to you, since we, since we explained how Either way, we lose or win the court case in Belgium. Uh, we're going to go to the next steps. Once we open to discussion and be explained, Delanoa and their team have gone into assassination group. They are organizing, and they have already organized a team to assassinate me and Caroline at any cost. Doesn't matter what the outcome. We, our security services in the back end are informing us. The due diligence working on assassination in one way or another, since they know the court case, either it comes, we take it to the next step. And they put a lot of effort into it. They made a lot of telephone calls, they are pushing a lot of people to make sure the judge has come under pressure to make verdict in a way that they can get something that they can start pushing. But be informing you now, the, there is a plan assassination that Mr. Dark Lawrence is part of it. Our assassination has been set out by them in past two weeks. Mr. Delano is spending a f all the forces they have in the police to assassinate me and Caroline. And Dark Lawrence is guiding them exactly where and what to do. It's the nature of his life. It's a strange, you can talk about your own life and not have no fear of it. But they planned from the day we announced how they, what we're going to do, either way we're going to take him up to the next case, they want to finish it. Mr. Delanoa, I stay alive as long as I decide. You can go to hell with your king and Mr. Lores. They have even planned assassination of my son. That's how great Mr. Lorenz is. To hell with you. We got everything, all the information and evidence. Any other question? Well, Emmanuel says, I sent the peace letter to my Prime Minister of Malta. And? He will sign it, he's a very nice guy. I have a question, Mr. Kesh. This yes. is Nicholas from the US. You've mentioned several times that this is a window, and this window uh, for peace and uh, is um, uh, is very special, and that there won't be another one for a while. Could you share with us why that is? Um, um, Vince, you have a picture, or some pictures were sent to you the night when we had the, when we were looking at the uh, UFO. We tried to get some pictures to you, can you put that up? Uh, yeah, we showed it earlier uh, in the first part of the workshop, but Rick, can you put that up for me? You Is see, the, the way the lights came, the, it's what you don't see. You see this, like a sphere you see on the screen now? 
it, uh, it was like a spheres passing, and then the next one coming, sequential part. And, there were two other people who witnessed it. But they said they saw it earlier on, before we saw it. And, in so many ways, the day when the, uh, Universal Council and the members of the core team, they're all there, concentrating, word by word, literally sentencing it. And this happening, because it started before that, it shows the man is ready, but, this time, if we give up, we've seen it 6,000 years ago, when we did it the first time, but at that time, there wasn't line of communication, the way it is today. He got buried, in the desert. Most of it got hidden by the Jewish Rabbis. The same in South America, the same in Central Asia. Because, it was so small, the communication wasn't further. Now it's global. The next step, if we fail, is going to be horrendous. Because if now we taught so much to man, now we open the door of universal community, universal knowledge to them, do you know what mayhem they're going to all create, if the window doesn't shut? We shut everything down. If man does not move in a peaceful manner, the way we expect it to do, and the way we are elevating them in knowledge, we shut the place down. You will understand very soon. Isolation will force man to peace. But not isolation by pain, but isolation by literally showing man what they made mistake with. This time, you got to see what it is, it's, it's a process of teaching. We have taught so much, we elevated the soul of the man so much, we elevated the knowledge of man in past three years, especially in past few months, is beyond imagination. If one day man understands the total knowledge that dispersed in past six months, past twelve months, man has not gathered that in the whole of past sixty, seventy thousand years. We cannot risk it if it's used the wrong way, or if it's not done the right way. We shut it down, and this time it will be shut, because it has to, because this time, the man will kill himself beyond, because you know why? They think they have the right to do it, they have the more knowledge to, but they don't understand this technology cannot harm, but they will use it in different way, that they elevate each other's soul in a wrong process, that, it becomes elitism to the elite, because those who understand more, they will do things. You got to understand, a lot of people, I, yesterday, I just received a text from somebody, do you know in Turkey, somebody is using your name, selling pens and pads, I was invention of Mr. Keshe on television, I said, what? In China, they are using my name like a water, selling all products to do with plasma and the health. So, the other people who are doing the health system, they call it, they change the name not to get into conflict to quantum, but it's a plasma technology, they change name to it. But now they're going to push it back. Anybody support, submits anything as a quantum will be blocked. It's a plasma technology. We know things which are going in the background. So, you can understand how many people are going beyond part of understand, more than a few understand, the governments which are sitting behind. So, the division, if it's not balanced now, it's become so vast that, we have to stop. Then it'll be a shutdown. Next time it'll be so, because you understand a lot of souls are elevated, you reach the point of elevation, but you have no point of freedom with it, then we shut down. It's like a, it becomes a fire which will simmer inside itself. You got to understand, nobody will have a need for electricity, nobody will have needs for food, nobody will have need for anything, and the society will burn inside itself. Because it needs, it needs to do something, and the leaders don't allow it to happen, because we won't open the universal community, unless we get a total commitment of peace from the, every single nation on this planet and not by commitment, by act. Very, very clear. 
extremely clear. We shut everything down. They will, you try to take out of the space of this land, take the animosity out, the knowledge is so much, we just taught you a pinhead compared to the ocean of the knowledge of the universe. This is what I said, just a guy. They get big headed because they've just been given some guns. We gave so much knowledge and the knowledge I've given is beyond imagination. You haven't even understood one millionth of what I've thought. But it's there, I thought in the future, your reference to it is there. And then you see the mayhem. It has to be done this way. You got to understand one thing. We've done this many times before, and it always worked. As I said, I had two choices. I explained this to Caroline many times in my talks. I love my wife. And I tell her many things in, in secrets of knowledge of man. We've done this many times before. I had a choice to teach over 20, 30, 50 years, 100 years, write books in code that nobody can understand as it unravels, or do a sharp, sharp teaching. Two years, five years, and move millions, and then they follow. The following of the movement is this peace movement, because when the kings, when the presidents move into a the peace, then they have to explain to the people why, and then the technology comes out. And then because of it, they can justify everybody, everything is a peaceful. You don't have what you will see what comes out within never the next seven days. I'm taking flights into certain countries, you will you will understand what is gonna come and what's gonna hit. We've been told do not talk till it comes out. We have governments coming out, scientists coming out in the backing of the foundation. Some world leaders will follow us, will come in, not to lose face. I openly, I openly discuss um, I, my approach to the Pope, because I want to put his name on that shame list. My aim is that shame. My aim is not for him to sign a peace. Then people can see the true color of it. Because if it is, it's the same with Arthur Rohani. My position, when I gave the piece of roadmap to the Iranian ambassador, two folder, two red folders I gave to him, I said, this is for President uh, Ahmadinejad, and this is for Ayatollah Khomeini. Because I know one should carry the other. It's a high risk, it's a very high risk, but from my point of view, from where I stand as a leading nuclear physicist, well known for my work, they have to respond. You got to understand, the last time, many of you know, I called on a Friday, on Monday I was in the house with the Pope, Vatican house. So, it's a, when we are invited to the house of the Pope, not anybody gets done with one telephone call. They know who we are. I want the Pope to go on that. My wish, he says, no. Do you know why? Vatican has no army, so peace must be his prime object. Yesterday I was sitting in a very public, but privately speaking, in one of the geniuses of, what do you call it, instrumentation. And two Americans came and made their way, pretending to have two laptops open, but the earphones hanging. We could see the American intelligence. What we are discussing, if we are discussing something top secret. And by coincidence, by coincidence, I had to come online, and I was talking because you had a problem regarding the, what do you call it, Israel, in your letter. And you should have seen the way they were edging on their chairs, and I could hear them, they could hear, I could hear the heartbeat, how can this guy talk about Arab, Islamic world, not accepting, but going to the Mount Carmel, because they won't accept the State of Israel. Oh, you should, the minute we left, they didn't know how to run out to do their work. The process of peace needs a lot of guts. And I've got all of it, I don't really care, because I know the joys of it.
get out, do your work, we cannot fail. The only thing can fail is humanity failing themselves. 90% of the people, 99% of people driving in their cars, going home on the back of a donkey or in the Rolls Royces or in the Minis or on the bikes or whatever, know nothing about this technology. But they don't understand how it's going to touch their life, every single one of them. I have all the knowledge of universe, and man is a dot in the walk of the universe. I'll get affected by it. We shot 6,000 years, and you see where it's got you to. This time we shot 60,000 years. Mr. Cash, uh, one, one more question that goes along with this. Um, from so many different uh, uh, sources, this time now is, seems to be um, a opening into new possibilities. And for a, a while, the last 20 years or even less, we have seen a number of crop circles showing up. And they found that in the crop circles, the seeds that were in these crop circles were more potent and more productive, maybe twice or even more than that, and that the soil also was significantly more productive and energized. And along with that connection with, I feel like, who is on our team from uh, other other beings outside of uh, Earth space. Uh, is this a plasmifying activity that goes on with these uh, crop circles? Um, can you go back, Wins or Rick or Flint, on to the agricultural teaching, please? And where in a picture you show the marrows and the cucumbers? Can you pick that up very quickly in the background, please? You know, in the promotion for agriculture, we show a shot of uh, um, the cucumbers and the marrows and the lettuces. Can you find it, Flint or Rick? And put it on the screen. Um, I think I know what you mean. Okay, we'll try. We'll try to look for it. If you are referring to the field, then where such a thing happens, you see the answer. The cash you know, validity this management. Is the knowledge of universe. It's a gift. It happens naturally when you bring such a system into operation. You say. They scientifically see, we scientifically show. It's the same field. And it's been on the screen for nearly two years now. Jim brought them originally with the lettuces, and then the other people showed with the others. Um, our dearest friend Alex is testing crazy things in Africa with it. If he shows you things, you just go bananas. This is what you said, when the crops come in touch, the, the harvest changes. And these things just been water regularly, and this is just water with CO2. This is the beauty of the fields. It, what it does, in fact, it changes the atmosphere around the seed, so it takes the pressure off, the plants can grow. That's all it is. The left is the regular water, and the right you can say it's the one which UFO has landed on it. That's the UFO of Gans, it's the gra gravitational magnet field of Gans. It's a huge difference. There's another one with the cucumber. Um, uh, Jim reported, if I was right, 55 gram and 145 gram lettuces, three times more nearly. The you have to understand the criteria behind it, the principle behind this work. It's just that because the field pressure dictates the size. Uh, 
I think it, the picture answers you very directly. We are here to serve and change humanity. And we will achieve it, we achieve this time. The plan is well set up. And we will achieve it, this time will be done by man himself. We just guide and teach. As I said many, many times. Everyone takes according to their understanding. But this time we teach so much that the understanding more or less is equal by everyone. 